My mind's telling me Yes But my body My body I know We left off right when I confronted Euro about going in with a Euro sock and arguing with myself. <laughs> <laughs> arguing with myself during a live stream and then contacting Euro on Discord and asking him why he was arguing with me in a live stream. <laughs> it's all very adult stuff going on. Whoever it was was arguing with me about how I betray people. Sounded like shit Jorn would say. That was my first thought. This is really freaking me out. What are you going to do? Is this the first time this has happened, or has it happened before? I never happened before. I have no idea why I'm being targeted. It doesn't look good. They are being so combative. I know. I'm recording it so I can prove it's not me. Record? <laughs> Recording what? My phone screen. <laughs> I hope he was recording it with another phone. <laughs> he, he had Jordan's phone holding it up to record his phone. You should have asked him for, for a picture of his face, a timestamp, <laughs> somebody else's phone, recording his phone. Uh, let, me see yeah. if thing, let me see if fingers motherfucker prove that's not shit. <laughs> with a clock in the back so you can tell what time it is so you can trace it. <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. Yeah, enhance. <laughs> enhance. Did they come back? I don't see them anymore. They seem to have given up for now. That's for funny. Now. They gave up when you were on, when you were talking to them in the chat. That's so weird. That's so weird. <laughs> then the, uh, then the Euro, the Euro mirror who had been arguing with me started uploading videos. Now these weren't just like the Jorn videos where they were his exact videos <laughs> re-uploaded. These have the audio taken out and messed with. Oh. And a bunch of a bunch of weird... I'll see if I can still find one. I, I, these... I've seen one of these. It has like this weird noise in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's <a> scary. <laughs> Not too much? Not too much? I like seeing you in person. Want to explain yourself? Yeah, I don't So you bought condoms? Yes, I It's a question. They have mirrored my channel now and uploaded three videos with the audio changed. What do you mean the audio changed? It's been replaced with static and weird music, <laughs> I think, to avoid bots. <laughs> That's really strange. I'll have to check it out after my meetings. <laughs> did, you manage the con did you manage to contact Mac and Cheese? Wait, hold on. Does he think it's, like, copyrighted? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, all that was done... Claim. All that was done to avoid the copy the euro copyright bots that are going around <laughs> scouring youtube yeah they're like it's a fair any... use parody <laughs> <laughs> come on it's a tribute <laughs> no they wouldn't go any further unless i had a new code and sent a video message okay so does that mean you were done i emailed you the instructions that were sent to me said to repeat the code you were given twice but i didn't know you would what you had chosen to do I really want to get that receipt to the Mirror channel so they can make some content with it. Someone named Jorn bought... <laughs> someone, someone named Jorn Bomity contacted me. <laughs> right, right. And also, shout out to, uh, to, shout the, out to the great Jordan Bapsby. Bomity. The great wow. Bapsby who came up with the name Jorn Bomity. <laughs> <laughs> so... Someone, someone named Jorn Bomady contacted me and said he can get in contact with him, but he will only do it if I include him in two videos, promote him <laughs> on Chris Hansen's video channel and community post, and I have to send a community post as well. It's a lot, but I really want to squirrel. <laughs> Come on, this is the famous Jorn Bomady we're talking about. He's selling out arenas. <laughs> That's that's so much. <laughs> Just ask for money, dude. Like, <laughs> um, that's a lot. That's a lot. But I really want to score that exclusive interview if possible. Have a good day and thanks for trying. I'll keep trying and keep you posted. 
I want to show you what was going on with with this email. Now it wasn't just like, hey, email uh, email this the join Comedy Mirror. It had to go to Mac and Cheese, but you know, for ultimate security, there was a there was a passcode. <laughs> It was a it was a phrase, and it expired every six hours. And any communication had to include the most recent passphrase, or it would immediately be, be deleted, <laughs> ignored. Yeah. And so I stressed to Euro how important it was that this passphrase be attached to this receipt he was supposed to send to Mac and Cheese to get to the joint comedy beer. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have. On and he, he, sent the, he sent the email, forgot the passcode, <laughs> and sent another email called "forgot something important" with the <laughs> passcode. Because he forwards me what what happened. Well, I tried, but here's what happened. So I reply, "Did you send everything together the first time correctly the first time? I don't understand. It was verified that it was the right code for today. This is what I was told by my connection. Can you read the uh, what was what was told me by my connection?" Do you want me to do it in Euro's voice? <laughs> it, any, no, no, because this oh, is a, okay. this is from Mac and Cheese. Oh, okay. I'll do my Mac and Cheese voice. If your message is denied, <laughs> <isn't> it... <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> isn't she like Southern? Is? She's like a Southern <laughs> Belle, <laughs> right? <laughs> Mac and Cheese. Like, you sound like a robot. <laughs> Okay, it's my robot voice. You sound like a Swedish robot. That was horrible, dude. Wait, do that again. Do that again. You know what? You didn't give me time to do my vocal exercises. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and sing Earthquake okay. real quick. <laughs> Cause you made my <laughs> Okay. Alright, alright, for real. For real this time. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I can't stop. Your message is denied, and it's because you did not follow directions. If you do it twice, you will be blocked. Respond back with the same quote twice and add it and that add this. Add this. Okay, this is the passcode. For a message of what transpires, I do hang on said wires. Ask for the code key to do the video. If you fuck this up, you are out, and so is he. Get it right this time. So everything is hanging in the balance on you. <laughs> <laughs> if you fuck this out, I'll yeah, swear. yeah. So Maggie, she's saying, "Look, you fuck it up again, you're out, and so is he. So I'm not gonna get the interview, and Euro's not gonna get all that exposure that's been promised to you. And you're gonna be mad at him. I'm gonna be mad at you. You're for, gonna have a grudge against him. I'm losing. I'm losing out. <laughs> <laughs> and I, can you try again, or are you done? I don't want to hassle you, but I need to know if I need to find someone else." I forgot the code on the first email and sent in a second. I'm really sorry, but I'm <laughs> I'm having trouble looking out for my troll and sending emails at the same time. <laughs> so he's got his phone in one hand. <laughs> he's looking through every live chat. And he's got <laughs> he's sending emails on his computer. What are these comments I'm seeing on videos about me betrothal? <laughs> that was the other night. I started commenting on my videos. From the fake euro account about how i betray people <laughs> was anyone like replying to them no, like yeah fuck that guy no <laughs> like, no no one gave a shit i was yeah. saying i was saying or like on the jordan mirror channel i was saying things about oh yeah kind of like how west betrayed jordan who didn't do anything <laughs> wrong what are these comments i'm seeing on the on that video about me betraying people i have no idea i don't know who's doing this anymore I don't understand why you would say that. <laughs> I don't understand why you would say that. I didn't betray Jorn or Vince. I thought it was Jorn. It's not me, dude. It's my troll. I'm assuming you're talking about the mirror Jorn video. Yes, the one someone just sent me where you... <laughs> the one someone just sent me where you mention I will betray people and calling TCAP sheeple. WTF, I really don't know who it is now. This seems above Jorn's ability. I just had two fake counts taken down today. What do you mean above his ability? Here's what happened. There was a video made that was supposedly from Euro and it was calling me out. Oh shit. And yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I, I made it, but it was calling yeah. me out. <laughs> And and it was like all it was really shitty. What do you mean above his ability? This video is shit. It looks like it took thirty seconds to put together. 
I'm trying to contact Mac and Cheese somehow to find out more information. I suppose. Thank you, by the way. See, you're welcome. Oh, you're out. I have even given up trying to contact the mirror. And then they say the video was sent with today's code. The only code I know was the one you give me and that I was told was out of date. I only got that code from a third party days ago. If I could get Mac and Cheese to respond to any of my messages, I would contact them directly. What do you think I should do for now? I would say just wait. A lot of people seem to have your back, so I'm sure the truth will get out there. If there is proof you didn't make those comments, it will be in the chat of whatever stream those came from. What stream was that? Do you recognize those messages? None of them. I don't even know what stream they're from, but Babsby will be able to back up. I never replied to her like that. Anyway, I've got to at least try to get some sleep. Thanks for the help, and I'm sorry you got dragged into this. You don't deserve it. No worries. Did you reach out to Mini Syllables about this? I think someone did, and she wants to make sure it's really you, and not someone pretending. Yeah, I've said I'm happy to do an interview with her. Oh yeah, he was begging to do that interview. Thanks, man. I can't thank you enough. And again, I'm sorry. You have to be been being roped into this. I feel terrible. It's all good. Don't blame yourself. There is always something going on, and with my track record in history, I understand why people come to me for assistance. <laughs> Yeah, you're always helping people out of there. I'm always helping people out of a jam. Hey, man, thanks again for advice. It really helped, and I'm sorry you got dragged dragged into it. Are we cool? I'd hate to think I pissed you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. You didn't piss me off at all. Just a heads up, but I think intensive porpoises is a troll. Could be wrong. Just think I'd just thought I'd say. Now that is. There are some people who know exactly who Intensive Porpoises is, was, and that's a pretty funny comment. I'll leave it at that. What have they been doing? They were referring to me and said, they said someone was copying Scarlet Ebony, and then they mentioned my interview saying I admitted it. Nothing too serious, but I'm go to keep my eye out for them. Oh, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Can I ask your opinion? My next teacup cocktail i'm calling a mr penis colada <laughs> think that's a good name <clears throat> i would change it to mr peen ass so you don't get hit by the youtube hammer yeah you can't monetize that yes, for all it's worth yeah, for all that well those, <laughs> that, you don't want to lose those million views for the wrong name yeah <laughs> thanks dude can i ask a favor and i never replied oh okay <laughs> then, then uh then like eight days later uh, he was in Wine Lover's stream, and she said, I can't remember what it was. She said something in her stream, and he told her to stop saying it because he didn't like it. I wanted to know because she was. Well, you're it. starting to get a bit of power around this time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, starting he was, to like him. He was going around and he was telling people, like, basically, hey, if you don't have, if they didn't have a moderator or if he didn't feel they had enough, he'd say, hey, give me a wrench. I have a moderator. I'm a moderator at every stream. Like, clobber, everyone's yeah. giving me a wrench. Like, give me a wrench. Hey, did you ask Winnie to stop saying a word yesterday during our stream? I wasn't there at the time, I don't think, but I heard that Tiffany and Winnie were a bit miffed about it. No, I just kept telling the troll I don't even want to rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I know what they're talking about. I jokingly said I don't like the C word. And said, please, could they stop you? Please, could they stop? But I was just joking. I'll apologize if it caused offense. Have you got a way I can contact Winnie? Let me see if I do. <laughs> Thanks. Just some possible useful information. Jorn is still a member of COD's forum on Facebook. Are you sure? His account is still active? Not initially. I think he's going under a different name. <laughs> From the small amount of information I could get, Dick Hungwell seems to know more about it, so try contacting him. Okay, so, well, that, that. So he's coming to me like he has some information, but it's really something that he might have heard from Dick Hungwell. So he doesn't know anything. He just needs to be like the first person to tell me in the hopes of getting mentioned. Hey, by the way, Euro tipped me off about this. Check out his channel, especially yeah. the cocktail <laughs> he made, he made a, or whatever it's I called. I made a dick colada today that's <laughs> going to knock your tits off. 
right. Oh. Okay. And then, and then I okay, didn't reply. So- <laughs> and then I think Joran had also sent this to people. I want to say he did. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong. Okay. I know what it is. It's the Milena emails. Is that, sent, that's what he's it like. Is. I've sent a, a couple of dick pictures, and then I think he sent literally this picture. Yeah, I think that I think that was it. So, <laughs> so I uh, I don't I don't say anything to the guy for days, and then he sends me this, and then, I, and then you'll you'll see how uh, how I reply. All right. And this is okay. And so this is just like um, out of nowhere. This is just random. At, out of nowhere. We it's I mean you saw what our communication. You've seen what our communication has been. Yeah. Uh, and then he just con- he just contacts me. Now there there had been rumors of a Google Drive out about Euro. <laughs> And I just wanted to see what his reaction would be to to hearing about that. So, I, but I didn't just want to contact him. So, like, he sends me his quote unquote dick pic, and then my yeah. reply. Oh, go ahead. Here is my dick pic with my name on it in case I ever need to do an apology video. You now have a receipt. Hey, Euro, it's funny that you contact. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't great- even say, haha. <laughs> Come on. Wow. You're a great timing. No um, laughing emojis. <laughs> hey, you're, it's funny that you contacted me. Uh, I've been hearing rumors from a source that there is a document floating around out there regarding you. Do you have any idea what it could be about? I will let you know as soon as I hear something so that you aren't left in the dark. Now, at this point, I really thought this document was a joke. Yeah. But it was not. It, yeah, I know not. at some point there was one. I literally have no idea what it could be. Thanks for letting me know. No clue at all? Has anyone said anything to you? Or have you been getting any strange or sock messages? These things usually do not come out of the blue. I have not been as on top of things as I usually am, but I'm trying to get up to speed. No, none. I've seen the person you were talking about trying to get your email and live streams, and they've been passive aggressive with me in other streams, along with a couple of other trolls, but I just ignore them. I, I've i had no DMs or emails from anyone other than the people I know. I just, with, I just wish I knew why I'm getting targeted so much now. Is it happening a lot? Why do you say it's so much? I'm only in a fraction of the streams you're in, so what is going on that I'm not seeing? It isn't happening, not nearly half as much since I got my own mirror channels down. But still, from time to time, someone turns up. Like, someone turned up in demanding that she give me a wrench, which is just <laughs> which is just weird. That's all they do, is be annoying. <laughs> That's right, people started going to streams that Euro was in and demanding that the person give Euro and sending, and sending bully donations. Oh, and he did get the Euro. He, con- he contacted YouTube and actually managed to get the Euro Mirror channel taken down for impersonation. Oh, really? Like, no one could get anything taken down off YouTube, but yeah, he managed really. to. Yeah, the, the that's why the channel's not up anymore. You know, well, you know why they stepped up their game because they heard the Jordan. <laughs> the <Jordan's laughs> where they're like, YouTube, step up your fucking game. They had a, they had a meeting at the headquarters. They just they just had that playing on loop over and over again. YouTube, step up your. This is gonna haunt you in your sleep tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We used to mean something. Now this guy, this walking Eggman is telling us to step up our game. So that describes what is being done to you. Is there anything at all you can pinpoint that would cause someone to put together a doc on you? I just want to know so I don't go in blind. I understand and appreciate you coming to me, but I really don't know what it could be other than TCAP related lines being taken out of context maybe. I really don't know. I'll have a think, but literally don't know what else I could have done that they are talking about. Hey, what's going on? Why are you leaving or whatever you just said? Do you think that was directed at you or something? Now, this was when Euro decided his Discord had become too much for him to handle. He he um he had made a comment. I can't remember what the comment was, but he made a comment and pissed someone off. It might have been might have been Lockhart. I don't remember. Ten minutes later, he made a statement that he was leaving his Discord for his mental health. <laughs> he was leaving his Discord for his mental health, 
and he could no longer handle he like accused Danny G of trying to take it over after begging Danny G to to help with the thing. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was a, it was like a power a non-existent power a non-existent power struggle. <laughs> I'm just taking a couple of days off because I'm not well and there's too much going on for here for me to handle. I've had a flu for days now. I've been tested for COVID-19 and come up negative, but I just can't handle both. Why, why mention the COVID if you came up negative? W what do you mean? What is going on that you can't handle? The troll and all this talk about Jorn is just too much to process when my headache is this bad. What does the Jorn talk have to do? What does the Jorn talk have to do with this though? I'm sorry if I'm late to what's going on here. I've been out of the loop. Did you do something? What is going on? I just need to have a couple of days away from TCAP related stuff. That's all. While I recover and Jorn is a side issue. I'm still processing what he did to me and <laughs> think a couple of days rest will help a lot. I really appreciate your support, though. Very much so. Tiffany called him out for playing victim. And he also said something about, I never thought Jorn was funny. I just, you know, I know a lot of people did that. Like, people who yeah. had been in all of his streams and, and who re really did seem to be enjoying himself. It became popular to say afterwards that you always thought he was a low cow. You always thought yeah. he was a joke. What is the side issue, though? I'm not seeing the connection between what Tiffany said and you. Was that directed towards you? I'm also not sure what you mean, what he did to you. Did Jordan do something to you? Was there more that people don't know about? It's nothing to do with Tiffany. I'm, it's just trying to process anything right now is hard and I'm dealing with questions Jordan asked about me asexuality. <laughs> <laughs> and I've only just realized how bad it affected me. Well, we know he's Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> he said, my, 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 my ex asexuality was saying no. <laughs> but my mouth was saying yes. <laughs> like I say, it's just till I get over the worst of this flu. It just seems oddly timed that you would decide to bow out after Tiffany's message. It's going to make people question the timing. It will look like an admission of wrongdoing to many. It's your Discord, and you're just going to leave? If you believe this was directed at you, it would probably be best to attack it head on and respond. If you think you have an apology to make, you should make it, and if you think she was wrong, you should make your case. Leaving that will not do anything but drive speculation up in your absence. Not telling you how to do their, not telling you how to do your thing, but I gave Jordan advice on how to handle his issues, and he ignored it, and that went away way worse than it could have. I just need a couple of nights sleep. I'm still here, just not going to be as active on Discord or late stream for two nights max. This flu is killing me. Euro. Dude. You've been all over Discord and live streams for weeks. Tiffany posts one message and now you need to take time off. Look at it from an outside perspective and tell me what you would think. I can see your points, but I do really need a couple of days to get over this flu. What do you suggest? I hope you could see my point because I see you use that phrase a lot. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but this needs to be handled correctly. If you disappear now, it'll look like you are running away and no amount of spin will change that. People will make their minds up. Yeah, I didn't think about that. If you need a few days away to rest, then before you go, you should clean up any messes and tidy up your house. It's pretty obvious from our conversation, you believe that message was directed at you. You can't just walk away without at least addressing it and just saying it's too much to handle right now is not going to do. You will lose control of your Discord and unfortunately, as I have learned over my time on YouTube, many will make their mind up without any further proof needed. What do you suggest? Because I don't have any issues with Tiffany. It was just trying to talk about Jorn right now was too much. If anything, she made me see that talking about him that the way we were we were is just making things worse. Well, you're if it were me and something was pointed out to me that made me realize that maybe I have been doing something wrong, I would think <laughs> <laughs> I would thank the person who pointed it out, apologize <laughs> apologize to anyone and everyone I may have affected. Apologize to anyone and everyone I may have affected 
with one message, not many and not repeatedly, and then change whatever behaviors it was that were being pointed out to me. I noticed you use the phrase talking about him the way you were in your last sentence. Do you think maybe she was blaming you for the actions of many or was she referring to more than just you? What do you mean by that? I just picked up from the messages I was able to read that making theories about him right now wasn't the best thing to do. Maybe I picked it up wrong. I'm tired and having trouble reading everything. No, I'm not saying that you were wrong in thinking she was addressing you because that was your first instinct. I would go with that thought, especially if the rumors are true and there is in fact a doc being put together. I'm asking in your own words, what do you think Tiffany was saying and who do you think she was addressing? This will help me in figuring out the course of action you should take. I'm actually good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am good at this type of thing and get paid to do it, but I need to know all the details. When things get left out, it makes it impossible for me to do my job. So in your own words, so in your own words, what Tiffany's saying in that series of messages and who do you believe she was addressing? I thought she was saying that she, that talking about where Jorn is right now and what he has done isn't helping things at all. I could have gotten, I could have got the wrong end of the stick. The messages were going by really fast. Well, they're still there. Why, why, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, they are still there. Why don't you go and reread them now that you have a cooler head and then come back and tell me what you think. Maybe with a bit more contemplation, it will be more clear. Regardless, do you think her messages were pointed at you or was it to a larger audience? I didn't see anyone else decide to take a break as soon as she made her point other than you. I'll go read them now, but I thought she was talking to everyone. If she, if you thought she was talking to everyone, why would you take it so personally and want to immediately leave your Discord? As the owner of the Discord, shouldn't you step up and set an example? Maybe acknowledge what Tiffany said and you were confused or disagreed with it? Maybe tell her that. Yeah, okay, I picked it up wrong, my bad, but this still has no bearing on me wanting to take a day off. I'm just so tired and bunged up right now and can't handle Discord and YouTube. But I can see your point on how it looks. I'll stay on the server and answer any messages, but I need at least tonight to get some sleep. I haven't slept in about 48 hours and I'm having trouble experiencing myself properly. I get what you were saying now. He says it constantly. I see your point and I get what you're saying now. Constantly. Euro, your last message was running away in my eyes. If you can stay up an extra 20 minutes going back and forth with me, then you can go and address the people in your Discord. You basically walked away from Tiffany after she put out a pretty impassioned rant and decided you needed a break. I am telling you now that if you walk away from this without addressing it, without maybe asking what you did wrong and getting a better explanation for yourself, it does not look like she was addressing everyone to me now that I read it back myself. You are going to lose the following in your discord. I assume you don't want that to happen, so I hope you do step up and say something. Yeah, I see your point. I'll hang around and explain, but... Do you think I should apologize to Tiffany personally? Because I'd prefer to do that after a night of sleep. Why is another person asking me my opinion on an apology? Well, like I said, I mean, you helped Jorn out. Why? Know? Why? A, a month after. It was still fresh. And he's oh, asking, yeah. He's asking me for my assistance on an apology. I think you should put it in Discord now. It will take you minutes to write a thoughtful response. The longer you wait, the worse it will be. Again, I do know what I am talking about. But do not apologize if you do not know what you are apologizing for. Do not apologize if you are going to back, go back and exhibit the same behaviors. And do not apologize if they will come with a side of excuses. You can make changes or you can make excuses, but you cannot make both. If you truly don't know what those messages was about, and I'm starting to think you may be confused on it, which is okay, I would ask for clarification in the stream. Tiffany is not a mean person and she will not bite your head off. This is your Discord, so treat it that way and ask her to explain herself. Ask some of the other people in Discord if they are clear on what she is talking about. Do whatever you can do and whatever needs to be done to keep it a safe place for everyone if you want it to keep growing. And please do not say you see my point unless you really do see my point. Jordan kept saying that same kind of thing over and over and then he fell flat on his egg face.
How does this sound? I apologize to everyone for how I acted before and realized that it makes me look... <laughs> it looks bad me running away suddenly, but I'm really not feeling well and need some sleep. I will still be on the server and YouTube, but need to get a good night's sleep, but I'm aware of the issues that have been brought to my attention and resolved to change me behavior. I'm not good with words, but if it's no good, I can try again. I mean, it's not so much the matter, but the meeting. You are apologizing for how you acted. You were just saying it. you thought it was addressed at everyone. What exactly are you apologizing for? Are you apologizing for stepping away or for the actions Tiffany was addressing? Because I do not think you truly get what she was saying. I really think you'd be better off asking, Euro. That apology you wrote could be applied to just about anything and it does not seem genuine. People aren't really fans of disingenuous apologies in my experience. I will never say this again. Tiffany is extremely smart and she does not pop off at just anything. If she took the time to make her point, the least you could do is try and take some of what wisdom and grow from it. Okay, I'll reword it, but I'm a bit confused. I thought the issue was to do with how I was talking about Jorn and, and how it looks me wanting time off. The time off thing is secondary because it hasn't happened yet. If you just go back, then it will be forgotten within the hour. The main issue, the issue Tiffany brought up, is the one that needs to be addressed. I'm going to go do things with my kid. I really think your best bet is not to write an apology just yet, and instead go figure out exactly what you would be apologizing for. An apology without knowing the meaning of what you're apologizing for is an empty gesture. I just love how he keeps needing a good night's sleep, but he's talking to you. <laughs> It's been like an hour at this point. <laughs> nice sleep. Okay, I'm very grateful for the help. I really appreciate it. But that's not the issue then. I really don't understand to say I'm confused and would be an understatement. I'll read the messages again, but I'm having really, really having trouble <laughs> understanding. You go do your thing and I'll read the messages again. <laughs> I, gave, I gave him homework and then I left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I I understand this better now, and I'm working on a new apology. Let me run this by you. I mean, dude, and... I love I love more apology scripts being run by me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he just typed this up. Everybody, I am very sorry indeed. What I what I said appeared very cowardly. It did not mean to. A Appear to run away when at sign Tiffany Lockhart was bringing such an important subject up for discussion. While this is no excuse, I genuinely have had a very rough day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I just read the rest of it. <laughs> and I am still getting over the virus I had recently. Which was negative for COVID. And oh, goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Due to lack of sleep, my plan was to read the messages later after I tried to get some sleep. So I hadn't actually fully read the messages that had been posted. My timing was very poor, and I can see how it made it look like I was just running away from the subjects she raised. I honestly didn't intend that at all, although it's no excuse. I did not fully take in what was being said or I wouldn't have said it. I was going to take a couple of days break. If I had fully read and understood the messages before I said I was going to take a few days break, I would have never <laughs> said what I did. I completely and humbly apologize. <laughs> also, I agree with Tiffany about Jorn. It's time to let it die. Also, ripping on his content and saying I never found him funny, while at the time he was a member of the community, appearing to support him can look two-faced. I should have confronted about the way he was creeping me out sooner. I do lack some interpersonal skills in this area, and I made poor judgment. I took the cowardly route. I am sorry. I am really sorry if I if people feel I have been dragging the whole issue with him out for too long as well. So again, I apologize. I really do see how people can see how I have <laughs> been dragging out. <laughs> have been dragging out ripping on Jorn's content and I suppose in a way it was my way of coping with feeling so bad about being supportive of him but I can completely see I have been out of line so to everybody particularly those who suffered abuse from Jorn 
<laughs> that sentence was like, oh my god, <laughs> that was the most run on sentence I've ever read. <laughs> Anything he said that upsets me pales in comparison to what he has done to others. Please believe me, I'm deeply sorry, and I hope you can forgive me. But if you can't, that's okay. <laughs> I owe everybody a big apology. <laughs> <laughs> a very big one. <laughs> Alright. And I never I'm... replied to him. I never replied to him for three, three days. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. I can't stay awake any longer. My <laughs> he said he's been awake for 48 hours. <laughs> and now it's like probably like 60. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can stay awake. I hope it's the right thing to do. Genuinely, I wasn't trying to run away. I've had a terrible day, an awful week. I had already decided I wanted to take a day or so's break before Tiffany started talking. I honestly had not read the messages properly when I posted I was taking a break. Terrible timing, I know, but I was just so tired. My eyes were drooping and my nose so bunged up. I just wanted to take a day off. I see how stupid it looks, but it was a genuine fuck up my end. As for the main issue Tiffany was talking about in the channel, I've talked, I've spoken to Tiffany and she seems happy that I understand now. I've apologized to Tiffany and ran it by her first to make sure I was addressing the correct issues. I'm sorry that you got dragged into this <laughs> and I really appreciate your support and advice. All I can say is that I've learned from my mistakes here and strive to do better. Thanks again for your help, edited. And then didn't reply for three Yeah, days. exactly. And uh, and he was in Punk Pansy's Pansy's stream and Doc's join. Yeah, Someone I see this. Like, just gave their his full name. His name is blank blank. And also FYI, by this point, he had started a new Discord. <laughs> oh shit. He had started he had abandoned that old Discord and Dick Hungwell took it over. And Euro started up a brand new Discord. Hey, I was just sent this. You know it's not okay to dox. There's no excuse for that. I've been doxed many times, and there are a few things more invasive than sharing someone's full name. This needs to be addressed. This is not about you understanding social norms. You knew it was wrong to do that. Yeah, many syllables is already talking to me. <laughs> I didn't think it mattered because his name is all over the pictures from Facebook. But my bad. Well, you got hold on, hold on. Next, the next day, because I never replied, and the next day, this is what I got. Well, you got what you wanted. You never hear from me again. I can't handle so much stress when my real life health, when my real life health has to come first. And that was it. Wow. Um, but on the next one, I, I really do think we should do a, a third one, which is my conversation with uh, with his brother. This video was delivered to me from Eurovision. While I am unsure of the context, the video is interesting to say the least. As requested I am uploading the video, and using the title provided. Hopefully this clears things up for people. Eurofission please explain. Thank you. Too much? Not too much. I like seeing you in person. What? Explain yourself? Yeah, I don't care. So you got kind of a yes, It's a question. for a celebration.
Comment, subscribe, share.